kwa hivyo mara nyingi tuko kanisani so a lot of times we are in church lakini hatutaki kujua Mungu anataka tufanye nini but we don't know we don't want to know what god wants us to do jukumu langu kwa mungu ni nini what is my responsibility to god mara nyingi tunajipata and that is why many times we find ourselves tunataka mungu atufanye vitu we want god to do things for us na sisi hatutaki kufanya vitu mungu anataka tufanye and we don't want to do the things that god wants us to do hali hii mbele unafanya wewe unachanganyikiwa This situation makes you get confused. Unakosa kumwelewa Mungu ni nani? You you fail to understand who God is. Kwa sababu hutaki kujua. Because you don't want to know. Unataka shida yako iishe. You want all your problems to disappear. Tafuta Mungu kwanza. Look for God, look for God first. Ukishapata Mungu, when you find God, fanya urafiki na yeye. Make God your friend. Alafu mwambie shida yako. And then tell God your problems. Atatatua. He will solve them. Na yeye pia atakwambia kile anataka kwako. And God also will tell you what he wants you to do. Ili muwe marafiki. So that you can be friends. Hauwezi tembea na mtu ambaye si rafiki yako. You can't walk with somebody who is not your friend. Huwezi mwambie shida yako na mjuani. You can't tell them uh, your problems and you don't know each other. Bwana Bwana. Praise God. Kwa hivyo ni lazima tutengeneze urafiki kwanza. So it is imperative that we make friendship with God first. Ndio sasa tuanze kumwambia shida zetu. That is when we can start uh, we can begin to tell him what uh, our problems are. Lakini leo hii tuliumbwa na Mungu, but today we were created by God. Lakini hatutaki kumjua Mungu, but we don't want to know God. Na dunia ni ya Mungu, and the earth belongs to God. Na wewe ni wa Mungu, and you belong to God. Na utaki kujua mambo ya Mungu, and yet you don't want to know anything na, about God. Utaki kufanya vitu ambavyo zinampendeza Mungu, and you don't want to do the things that please God. Lakini tatizo likitokea, but when a problem comes, unataka Mungu akusaidie. You you run to God to solve it. Dunia hii, this earth, ina Mungu na shetani, has God and Satan. Mwanadamu atachagua uh, a person will have to choose kati ya Mungu na Shetani wewe unataka nani between God and Satan who do you Na wote wapo and both of them are present wanapatikana they are, they are available Kuna mmoja ana nguvu za kuharibu one has the power to destroy mmoja ana nguvu za kutengeneza the other one has the power to create Mwanadamu ana uhuru wa kuchagua human beings have the freedom to choose inategemea wewe unataka kufata nani it depends on who you want to follow nani haki yako and it is your right mungu akulazimishi kumfuata kwa sababu alikuumba god does not force you to follow him because he created you pia shetani akulazimishi kumfuata kwa sababu yeye ni shetani and satan does not force you to follow him because he is satan ni uamuzi wa mwanadamu it is your personal decision